Very much uh, all over the city. They're still talking about Wiener and his wife, Huma, Huma Abedin, a well-respected political professional, clearly, at least on the surface, devoted to her husband. She's mm -hmm. staying by him, made a very powerful statement the other day, and it's been augmented now with an article or an essay in Harper's Magazine. Well, also, a lot of people are just digesting this, and they're questioning why would she stand by her man after he repeatedly, you know, basically did her wrong. So we have with us this morning psychologist Robbie Ludwig and divorce attorney Vicki Ziegler this morning to discuss this. Nice to have you ladies back on Thank Good you. Day New York. Why would she stay with her man? You know, Robbie? I think a lot of people are very suspicious. It almost looks cliche. We have the cheating politician and then the wife that stands by her man. And I think people are very distrustful of this image. It used to be that the wife was your best character asset, your character witness, mm -hmm. the person who mm -hmm. said, I believe in my man. But I think people have gotten very savvy and say, well, that doesn't mean anything because sometimes wives have a political agenda. You have to remember. Well, you brought up the political, mm -hmm. political right. agenda. She Wise. comes from the Clinton School That's of, right. of Hard knocks. Politics, right? <laughs> right? And so and probably training. I mean, she saw Hillary mm -hmm. ride it out with Bill. It worked out very well for Hillary. Maybe she's thinking she can do the same with her husband mm -hmm. as well. Well, 75%, there's a, a very interesting study, Peggy Vaughn did one that said 75% of women that have been cheated on stay with their husbands. And to me, that's an interesting from a divorce attorney's perspective because 50% of the population for first-time marriages get divorced. So what's going on in Huma's head? Why is she staying together? Greg talked about family. Family values, she had a child, maybe that's the connection there. However, what about money? Uh, maybe she was concerned being alone. Maybe there's a circle of public, you know, a, a, a circle of friends, people, um, contemporaries that unfortunately would break up. People get worried about the fact of divorce. I want to hear from Huma Abedin from the other day, and then we'll talk more. Let's uh, roll it. We have that. Yeah, Our marriage, like many others, has had its ups and its downs. It took a lot of work and a whole lot of therapy to get to a place where I could forgive Anthony. You know, there is something about sickness and in health, you'll mm -hmm. stay with your, mm -hmm. your spouse. Now, if he has an issue, if he has mm -hmm. some sort of a sickness, mm -hmm. According to marriage vow, she's supposed to stay with him and is doing that. Does that make he, sense? Yes, he could have a compulsion. She may realize on mm -hmm. some level that her husband is an insecure guy and is trying to find his self-esteem in these aberrant ways. And listen, when you've mm -hmm. only been married for three years, yes, short time. you want to give it a shot. You want to try everything before you say, that's it, Or I'm my, done. Right, and you know what, that's a good point, but the other side of it is, listen, they're only married for a short period of time. They don't have much history together. The they have a child. They, they have a Child. No, and I'm with you. No, Greg, I'm, yeah. I'm not saying that they should get divorced. All I'm saying is it's an interesting crossroad that somebody gets to when they say, listen, can this marriage be saved? Can I reconcile it? Am I willing to give him a shot? Can I build my trust back? And I mean, she's a political it. wife. Let's remember sure. that. Political wives know that they're in for a different kind of ride. And they may say to themselves, this is very typical of a powerful man. He's very wanted. Mm -hmm. This is what I have to do to be successful in this kind of marriage. Let me ask you, you're a psychologist. Uh, he keeps saying this behavior is behind him, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. It, can, can this behavior be behind him? It can if he works on himself. My sense is that this is a compulsion, that he tried to stop, he couldn't help himself, it felt too mm -hmm. good. I'm not saying he's a sex addict, and I don't know if mm -hmm. I believe that. But I he, think sex addicts are something that is made up in Hollywood. And are they there actually are, having sex? You know, he was are, sexting, he wasn't actually meeting be, these women. You can be addicted to porn. There are things that you can be addicted to. I've seen people who truly are. I would not put him in that category. Well, we don't I know. I think he has he an said, ego issue. He said he's undergoing treatment, right? You called it aberrant, aberrant behavior yes. before. Is it really? I mean, It uh, is when it, you're uh, in a marriage. It is when you're in a marriage mm. and, and you have a political life and well, you know that second. it can destroy you. Yeah, but there are and statistics. You can't stop yourself. All over the. I've heard them before mm -hmm. that how many affairs happen within marriage. It's not exactly unheard of, correct? It's Absolutely not unheard not. of, but if you were a politician, you had to leave a post because you came out as cheating, you claimed you stopped, you had a whole beautiful spread of family pictures, yeah. and no, you it's said bad. you've it's moved bad. on. Obviously, he can't just move on. And so there's a problem, a self destructive right. streak that we're seeing. And do we want to make 
mayor like that. Yeah, yeah because this is the, the article right, right. here. And I feel magazine. like right. a different person. Right. So I almost feel like he hoodwinked us, even right. though when he got back uh -huh. into the race and right. he said, well, right. there may be other stuff out right. there. Who are you? I mean, and that's what I think the voters need to understand. But can people change, number one, can he actually make a difference, change, and not have these uh, behaviors outside of the marriage that are not acceptable to Huma? And can Huma accept that and live day to day with him saying, listen, when I know you're going out on the campaign trail, you're not going to be doing what you used to do in the past. It needs to work on both ends for them to actually stay in a healthy, happy can, marriage. Can we look at Sydney Leathers here, the young woman from Indiana who was apparently on the receiving end mm -hmm. of these messages? Mm -hmm. She's getting a lot of attention. Once again, she was a consenting, willing mm -hmm. participant mm -hmm. in 22 years old at the time. In all of this, in all sure. of this. Yeah, well, and I know some people say, oh, 22, like, Well, young. just because it's, uh, you know, it's my daughter's age, mm -hmm. so it, it, I find it a little creepy. Well, I'm how sorry. creepy Absolutely. is that? No, I mean, like, this yeah. is the, 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 the of fame. Right? It's a what? I'm sorry. It's a way to fame. Look, For she's her. getting a lot of attention. She went we don't after know, in a fairness, powerful. We don't know if she wants this kind of attention. Well, she was the one we who went to the dirty dot com. com. I think everyone's she a went to the dirty dot com. She, she may not have anticipated this oh, really? aspect of it. Possible. Then she's not living in this universe. Name one of the girls that he texted during. Um, uh, before his resignation Those from Congress, girls may be we don't know who they are. But they're all willing participants. He knew she. He knew she knew he was married. Number one, so you know that's off limits, right? I mean, and she was really following him. He was responsive. Everyone knew their behavior was wrong. What level? Where do you stop the line? I mean, I think that's really the question, and I think it's a great educational but when lesson you are for everybody. A don't do it. When don't you do are it. a politician, when you are famous people, there are people who are going to want to be near you for their own gain. Then you have to be smart enough and to create can, boundaries. And and the other Friendships thing too, and supporters do we are one want thing. a mayor mm -hmm. who can, you know, be blackmailed, who has a vulnerability in this area, maybe can't stop himself? How good will that be for and the, the city? And the question That's is, the bigger issue. What goes on between him and Huma? Who really yeah. cares? But isn't it really poor is? judgment? Can, if poor judgment right. is, ha, occurs in your private life, does it transcend to your public life? It can. can you not make decisions properly for the state of New York? And, I think and, that's and it. can in the and case the of the most famous case along these lines, mm -hmm. President Bill Clinton. He was mm -hmm. a genius. Everybody deplored yeah. what he did, yes. but they thought he was a very good president, at least uh -huh. at the time. But, but, the he, poll but numbers. Anthony yeah. Weiner does not have the same reputation. Right. If you uh -huh. look at his record in Congress, that's right. he didn't do much. And we know him for sexting. We know him for sexting. And they're still married. And Hillary is one of obviously Huma's biggest mentors. She said if she had a second daughter, it would be Huma at their yeah. wedding. I mean, that's very interesting and telling. And where does President, where does Hillary Clinton's uh, political uh, place lie in the future in Look, 2016? We heard Who these knows? salacious, salacious details, similar salacious details two years mm -hmm. ago when it first broke, mm -hmm. and when he got back in the race. Consistently, number one or yes. number two in the polls. Very true. Do people so, yeah. Yeah. We thought question. he was a changed man, not you know right. back to his old well, tricks. As as a to a his... sexier New York, free texting for everybody. I mean, really, <laughs> what is his platform? You know what I thought was interesting last night? I was dialing around, watching other stations, and then there was this report at another station, credible report, which mm -hmm. said that Huma's friends are now calling her and saying, yeah. "Why are you standing by your man?" Yeah. And turning. I thought they got permission from Huma mm -hmm. to talk about this oh, probably and listen, they know you her know best. Th well. that's right. right so now it's getting out there there there's talk right and that does that help Wiener's campaign? Clearly not. I mean, that was the whole point of her yeah. being at the press conference, standing beside his uh, side while he's talking, looking yeah. at him, and all of a sudden now the parent, he, the friends are coming out saying, whoa. He needs her. Uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, psychologist Robbie Ludwig, thank you very much, and thank divorce you. attorney, divorce attorney, oh, Vicki yeah. Siegler. <laughs> I didn't She's say that. Good. It would be <laughs> profitable for you and your colleagues if they break up. <laughs> Well, listen, we can't we can't stop <laughs> yeah, it. You <laughs> You should offer Huma a free consultation. Well, she can come on my new show on Bravo, right. untying the knot. Oh goodness. <laughs> All right. Thank you, ladies. Appreciate thank it. You. Uh,